Welcome to sixth grade uh, history, and we are picking up where we left off at the end of the chapter, so pages 282 to 283. All right, and your homework for this lesson is um, to answer in the chapter checkup section C, number five, um, section F, number 13. And then sections G and H, all of those, so seven and six um, questions in those. So those, that is your homework, as well as at the end of this lesson, at the end of the video, reading these two pages and answering the comprehension check on paper. Um, and, but we're going to look at your, um, at the rest of these countries, and um, we're going to highlight Panama a little bit. Okay, so um, Honduras, we talked about last, uh, last lesson, and Copen um, is, the, is a touristy um, place. It's partially reconstructed. It's the, an ancient Mayan city, um, and so there's many things that they, they showcase there um, as part of the tourism. Um, and but Honduras has, is fully independent now, but it did ha go through some times of struggle where um, there were dictators and revolutions and, and all of that. Um, Christopher Columbus came in 1502, and then of course more Spanish came after that, sharing the gold there. Um, Managua is the next, um, Nicaragua and Managua. So Nicaragua is the country. It's Central America's largest country. Managua is the capital. And um, it is the, it's called the, along the Caribbean, it's called the Mosquito Coast um, because of the mosquitoes, of course. Um, lake Nicaragua is the largest lake in the region. And um, you're going to read a little bit more about the different things that happened in Nicaragua, but we're gonna shift to Panama and look at um, the Panama Canal and then Panama City, which is the capital. So the crossroads of the world is what Panama is known as. Um, it connects, the Panama Canal connects the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean, okay? And um, while they were building the Panama Canal, there was a there was a huge problem with mosquitoes, okay? as we we saw Nicaragua has lots of mosquitoes. Well, they had all of these mosquitoes and people were getting malaria and some people were dying from it. And it was a huge problem. And so there was a man by the name of Colonel William Gorgas and he had gone to, um, he was in, um, he went to, Oh, he started here in Panama, I'm sorry. He started in Panama, and then after his work here in Panama, they actually called him um, and had him come and help another, um, an, an island um, with, the, this, with the mosquitoes. But he worked 10 years to conquer the malaria. Um, he drained the swamps where the mosquitoes, which carry this disease bread. He also installed sewer lines and built hospitals to treat people with malaria and other tropical diseases. And so the, he was, he was a, a leader in this area that he, he knew that they had to get rid of that water that, that the mosquitoes had festered in and grown in. And once they got rid of that, and they had sewer systems, and then they had hospitals for the people that had got sick, had gotten sick. Um, that was that was how they took care of this problem. And so um, he was uh, instrumental in in helping um, the Panama Canal being built because the people were not the military down there weren't afraid of of getting malaria um, because the mosquitoes had drastically died off. Um, and then the, the people in Panama were then um, also were saved from that. And so um, there's some interesting facts about the Panama Canal. It takes eight to 12 hours for the average ship to pass through the canal. 
It takes 52 million gallons of water for each ship to pass through the canal. The largest toll ever paid was $141,344.91 by the Crown Princess. The smallest toll ever paid was 36 cents by a man who swam the canal in 1928. Okay, so, uh, there are, it is it does cost to cross the canal um, but it is because of all the manpower that it took to build it and all the money and all the uh, everything that went into it and so but the Panama Canal is is widely used um, of all countries that um, and, and we, we gave it back to uh, to Panama in 1999 and um, at the beginning or at the very end of 1999, 2000 uh, really and, um, but we are still able to use it and um, we try, we have, it allows, our, the, the, the agreement is that any country not at war with the US is allowed to use it um, of course, they do have to pay the fees to go through it. But, um, and I, I know I've said this before, but I just want to just want to say it just so that uh, if you didn't remember hearing it, but um, my grandpa, my great grandpa actually helped build the canal. And um, my grandmother was born in Panama. And so that is something that is part of my history. And so it is, it is neat to read about it and to really, um, really just just learn this history. I think it's really neat. Um, so go, don't forget to do your homework and, um, and read these two pages. And then um, we will see you in the next lesson.